What's up guys, you guys have been asking me for law tutorials forever, so here we go. How to DSS. DSS, of course, a core part of Law's offense or his combos. So even just to do his bread and butter combo, you're gonna need to learn to master DSS, right? So even right here, boom. And for his wall combo. So let's learn how to do it. DSS, AKA Dragon Sign Stance. You can get into it manually by hitting down one plus two, just like that. You see the shoulder shimmy, that's DSS. But what you wanna really know is, how do you transition into this from other moves? And there's a bunch of other moves you can do this with. For this example, I'm going to use Law Shaolin Spin Kicks 4-3. So basically, any attack that can transition into DSS, you hit back forward immediately after the attack, and Law will take steps backwards. This is DFS, Dragon Fake Step. During the back step, you can tap forward at any time to get into DSS. So the key is to make that step back as short as possible, so that your DSS timing is as fast as possible. Pretty easy, right? All you gotta do is back forward after moves that can go into DSS. That'll start DFS and then learn the timing by practicing to master shortening that last forward. So again, back forward, forward. Back forward, forward. Right? And so you just gotta practice so he steps as little back as possible, right? Because that's obviously way too far back. You're not gonna be able to hit anything in the combo with that. And that's it. So what are some moves that can transition into it? Shaolin spin kicks, wall standing four, wall standing one, back one. Back one, two, even jabs. You can do it from that as well. One exception is while standing three. So while standing three, you just have to actually tap forward since he's already going to DFS by himself. But if you want to do it as fast as possible, I recommend doing the back forward, forward input here as well. So that's basically it for how to transition into DSS. You know, but down below, let me know what kind of stuff you guys are interested in. Do you guys want to know more about DSS? Other things about law, perhaps other characters, perhaps. You know, just let me know what your struggles are with the game, who you want to see more content against, things you have trouble with specifically. Even if it's really beginner questions, I'm really interested to know. So again, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to hear about. I'll see you guys next time. Hey everybody, this is MYK from Level Up Your Game and today I'm going to help you guys out with Steve's down forward 2 combos. So the first thing we're going to want to learn is how to do a duck cancel. How to do a duck with Steve is either with forward 3 or down forward. To cancel the duck, you just simply want to press down back and then this will actually leave Steve in a crouching position but he could do a repeated duck afterwards from crouch and the reason why you want to do the duck cancel version is for combo consistency. If you don't do the down forward 2 duck cancel, this could happen. So this is step 1. Down forward two, duck cancel, get this down consistently first. But before we jump into the style on combos, here are three easy follow-ups. Option one, option two, you can actually do this without a duck cancel as well, but I would not recommend it since down forward two on its own is minus 11. Option three, this option is also good if a wall is nearby for an easy wall combo conversion. All right, so on to step two. We saw this in the previous example, but it's going to be down forward two, duck cancel into duck one plus two, one. Step three is getting the while standing one pickup. You can't do this by doing a traditional crouch into while standing one, it is merely too slow. The trick is to go into flicker stance with back three plus four, which allows you to access while standing moves quicker than a normal crouch. There's two tricks to getting the while standing one here. You can either do it by down back neutral one, or you can do it by quarter circle back one. Use whichever method is more comfortable for you. This is the hardest part of the combo, but with some practice comes consistency. Step 4 is to complete the combo. You can extend the combo here with forward 2-1 back to go into flicker, then do duck forward 2 to screw. But here are some variations to his counter hit down forward 2 combo. After you learn how to do this, you can also do it after extended duck one and flicker back two as well. Hope this video helps. Let me know what you guys would like me to cover next. All right, so that's going to do it for today. Have yourselves a good one, and I'll catch you all again here on Level Up Your Game. Hey guys, what's going on? And thanks for tuning in to LUYG Labs. Today's episode, we're gonna talk about Tiger 2-2 really quick and how to whiff punish. For Lei Wulong, one of his many stances is Tiger Stance, which you see right now that he's in. <laughs> Tiger is probably one of the most aggressive stance 
that you can use towards an opponent to whip punish and to aggressively 50-50 them, right? Because you have the option of Tiger 2-2 and Tiger 4. Let's get into it. I have the bot, of course, the one and only Leroy. He's going to be doing a standing jab and then down jabs following suit, right? And my goal, my goal is to show you by hitting the down forward one plus two, then back dashing, and you'll see the down jab whiffing and then hit whiff punishing it right away. So if you don't do it at the max range, it's going to hit like that. And so I'm going to show you how to do it while at max range. And just like that, we'll do it again. 2-2. Two, two. So from there, you could see that both down jabs whiff, and I punish for wall, the tiger 2-2, two, two, excuse me. And that's it. Simple as that. I know Lay could sound really hard, but what, hopefully that helps you out. I'm Sukin. Please make sure you hit a like and subscribe button down below in the channel and show, and show some love for the rest of the team. This is LUIG Labs, and you guys have a good one. What's up, guys? Today I'm going to be talking to you about instant wild running attacks. Of course, these are great pressure tools for characters like Dragonov, Claudio, Kazumi, Elisa, even good for characters like King and Armor King with their shining wizard grabs. But before we get there, this video is brought to you by Equinox. Be sure to check out Cuddle Circuit, a monthly online Tekken 7 tournament series starting Thursday, March 26th, featuring, of course, Cuddlecore. Make sure you guys sign up or get more info at the link below. Now, usually to do a running attack, you need to be in a running state. So usually you'll knock your opponent far away, and then when they're far away, usually if you do tap forward, hold forward, you'll likely start running. And once your character takes three steps, you're actually considered in the running state. And then any attack you do afterward will be a running attack. But what if you want to do it from point blank range, face to face? Now, like most things in Tekken, there's no actual official way to do this. You know, it just says three forwards on the button. So there's two ways that I know to do this. The first way, you mash forward three times really fast and then you hit the button, right? When I was starting out, this was very difficult for me, but this is potentially the fastest way to do the attack. Now, the way I prefer to do it, a little bit more consistency for me, you do forward neutral and then forward forward, tap the button. Now, the key here is that your button has to come after the last forward input on the stick. You cannot hit the button and the direction at the same time for the third forward. Of course, timing is going to matter on this, so really you have to get used to the rhythm of it. Use verbal cues like bup but up, bup but up, bup but up. You know, like just to get yourself into the rhythm of doing the stick timing. Also, if you just listen to your arcade stick or your controller, you'll kind of find the rhythm yourself naturally over time. So let's talk about the ways you're going to get this wrong. If you leave too big of a neutral gap between your forward neutral, forward forward, you're just going to get the forward forward. So in this case, you'll just get forward forward too. Right? Another way you may get this wrong is if you actually hit the button and the last forward on the same frame. In this case, you're just going to get forward two. So what you actually need to do in this case is hit your button slightly later. Well, hope that helps, guys. That about wraps it up. Of course, it's going to take some practice. You're not going to figure this out overnight. Although, maybe it will be. Who knows? If you have your own way of doing it, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, let me know what other topics you'd like to hear from me. I'm Rip. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.